Hi, my name is Usman, and today we'll be discussing the Unity Asset Store. First, let's discuss what an asset even is. Well, an asset is something you'd bring into your project that could be anything from a 3D model, 2D image, sound effects, music, shaders, particle systems, and code, and much more. You would commonly find these in your project window inside your assets folder. Now, where is the asset store? Well, up until Unity 2020, we were able to go up to Window and then simply click on Asset Store. It would bring us a tab, which was a kind of a slow way of accessing the browser version of the asset store within the Unity editor. But they uh, wanted to speed up your development cycle and have solely moved access onto their website. All right, now let's go ahead and add an asset to our Unity project. So we'll go ahead and get to the assetstore.unity.com website. And in the search field, we'll just type in car. And uh, now I'll see a large grid of 3D models of cars, pictures of cars, maybe some car sounds. And so perhaps I want to refine my search a little bit. I can, of course, sort by things like uh, relevance, ratings, and prices, or I can search by categories as well. So I'll go to the 3D model category only. And there underneath, I also have the pricing option, and I'll just select free assets. And now I'll be shown all the free 3D models of cars. Now, when you want to add a asset into your Unity project, we visit the asset store, and then here we can go ahead and say, quick look and get some nice information about the asset itself or if we click in the middle there we would get a whole other window with much more detailed descriptions of the contents of this asset now all I need to do is click on the quick look here and I'm just gonna go ahead and add to my assets that will add this car model to my profile from there I'll be able to download it onto my computer and then import it into my Unity project. Let's go through this process. So I've added it to my profile, added it to my assets. Now I'm going to go ahead and open it up in Unity. It's just going to take a second here. It's loading up. Now, when it opens up in Unity, it's going to open up the Package Manager window and have automatically selected the new asset in my profile. Now, if I want to bring this into my Unity editor, first I need to download it onto my computer. Let's take a second. Now that it's downloaded onto my computer, I can import it into this particular Unity project. If you want to use this asset in another Unity project, you'll have to import it again. Once I've clicked on the import button, I'll be prompted with another window with a bunch of the assets within this Unity package. Now, I'm seeing a bunch of materials, the prefab of the model, the actual 3D model, the FBX file here, and textures that are going to be applied. Now, there is a scene file that I don't need, so I'll actually uncheck that. So you can selectively choose what you import during this process. And I'll import the rest. Now we can close this package uh, manager window. I'll go back to my scenes folder. And if I take a look at my assets folder now, I'll notice that there is the car underscore low folder. This was what was imported. I'll go ahead and go in there navigate into that folder and I could bring just the 3D model but usually they've set up the prefab to work pretty well. Now here it appears pink. That's because this asset was created in the legacy render pipeline, the old one. But this project here I have is set up for the universal render pipeline. So if I was to bring this into my scene, let's take a look. As you can see it's appearing pink. That is because of the mismatching render pipelines. Now, if I want to address this issue, I would go up to Edit, Render Pipeline, Universal Render Pipeline, and Upgrade Project Materials to Universal RP Materials. And proceed. 
There we are. Our asset now brought in to Unity. Now, if you have any assets downloaded in your Unity editor that you don't use in your final application when you build your app out, they will not be included in that app. They will not contribute to the file size, for example. The Unity Asset Store is a great repository for thousands of assets for you to use in your projects. Some are purchased, some are free, but they'll help you prototype a lot and some can really bring home your final project. If you'd like, you can even create your own assets and release them on the Asset Store for profit as well. Thank you all for watching. I hope to see you in some of our future classes.